Krios here. Today we are going to be doing a live remix of a No Man's Sky intro sound bite. Um, I've set up a session here to get ready for doing this live. So I'm going to kind of go through everything that I have here and explain how I've ripped the sound out of the No Man's Sky video. But please like and subscribe and check this out. So what I've done is I've gone into the game and I recorded the, I think I recorded this into OBS or something like that and just ripped the sample out of there. Obviously it wasn't that great. I wasn't very much worried about it because I'm not going to be actually using this. Um, when it comes out of there, it doesn't look like this. It's all, well, let's see, uh, let's go into downloads here and I'll show you. Um, downloads, No Man's Sky. Nope, that's not it. Um, no Man's Sky sound here. So if we drag this in here, I'm just going to show you how it, how it comes up for me. So I drag the video file right into uh, Ableton here, and we just get the audio. Here's the audio. It's all over the place. There's no rhyme or reason for the time signature or the BPMs here. It's not going to match up with the doll at all. So what I've done is I've gone in here, and you can see uh, we've got our main measures here. Boom, 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 boom. That's where I want them to fall on. So in Ableton, we can hit warp and put markers on these guys here. So that's just going to get things timed up. We're not even going to use this sample, but when I convert this over to MIDI, which is a very cool thing that Ableton does, we will have our MIDI in the place that we want it to be in. So... This just kind of saves you things later and be organized. So that's what, what I'm going to do. I, I, I'm warping these and moving them over. I'm actually think I, I, I've already done this. So I think the actual sample starts here. So I think I actually took this one and I probably just drug it up like this and then fix the rest of everything behind it and cropped the sample. So here we go. We're fixing everything, moving it to where, to where it's going to be timed with the beat. And everything's on a measure. We'll be able to work with it. I've already done that, so we're going to go ahead and delete that, and I'm going to take you back over here, and we're going to look at this here. So uh, there's me after I've cleaned it, and then here's me after I've I've cut it up. So we can listen to this. We can turn on the metronome and turn all the other sounds off, and then hit this here. <laughs> There's definitely some warping. You hear other things in the background, um, and it's very odd, but I just wanted the chords to start where they needed to be. So what I'm going to do with this sample here is I'm going to right-click, and then I'm going to go over to Convert Melody to New MIDI Track. And what's this going to do? It's it's going to analyze the sound and analyze the chords and every all the notes that are in there and give me a MIDI track of it. That's going to let me work with the chords and put them on my own instruments and make them my own. So I'm not just ripping off a of No Man's Sky. And melody. That's not a, I didn't want melody actually. So let's go back into this sample. We want harmony to new MIDI. Melody single notes. I might be able to use that later, actually, because uh, I, I was wanting to do a little bit more arpeggiated things in, in this. So here's what you get. It's a sloppy mess because there's all kinds of different sounds in that uh, sample. But if we listen to this, let's turn this off and see what uh, Ableton did here. There's a chord. There's a chord. There's a chord. So what we're going to do... take these main notes out of this and and turn it into some chords now I have already done that so which one we lit up on here we're on this one I'm gonna delete this and if you see over here let's go over to the addictive keys because we're I'm trying to reproduce -pre that chord on the piano so what I've done is I clean that up just like I've, I've explained it and these are the chords that I've gotten um, here and Let's see, let's go over to, um, I'm going to bring in something here real quick just so you guys can see what chords are. Uh, J74 makes a really cool product. Here it is right here. 
I don't have it in my packs yet, but uh, J74 has a uh, really cool products here for chord progression and chord detection and things like that. I mean, it teaches you music theory. It staggers out things and makes them sound human. If you want a chord generator, this is it. Um, hands down the best one out there. Cthulhu, Captain Plugins, they have nothing on J74, and I think it's even cheaper. So I'm going to drop a chord detect on addictive keys here. And what this is going to do is, as this is playing, uh, you can see that I've, I've cleaned up this MIDI. And here we have these chords that I've dragged out of that sample. And now I'm going to hit play on this. And down here, you can see it's giving me the chords that, it, that it's playing. B suspended 2. D major nine, and it's not just—it's not reading that one very well. Uh, but I think that was a B suspended six, uh, and the last one was an E something. So, anyway, cool. We have a cool beginning for our, our piano that we want. It's the very uh, the the very first part of it, and then I think I have a arpeggiation that I've somewhat happy with enough for this anyway kind of a neat mysterious uh, sound here and I can speed up that arp and slow it down very cool little sound there I liked it um, more chords. This is going to be for the pads in the background. So I have like a landscaping pad sound. I thought this had like no sky all over it when I heard it. So I like that. And that's a contact instrument. Uh, really cool. What is this? Uh, I want to say gravity. Gravity. <laughs> I tell you what, heavy acidity is just hands down at the highest quality. And contact libraries out there. Uh, totally impressed with the company here. Very awesome. Alright, so back on uh, Addictive Keys. I've got some samples off of an, uh, um, Sean Murray doing an interview. So I've got a couple of neat little samples. You, you just have to so listen I to them later. Be, That's going to be a surprise. Kind of uh, I guess a bit mysterious, a bit weird cool. at times. Right. So it's uh, Sean Murray's in there uh, making his debut. Now I have a contact here with, I think it's another Heaviosity product. It's uh, Vocalese. Um, and we will have some really cool sounds coming out of this. Let's uh, just give you a little. Very cool. I also have an output product on here um, called Movement. And that's going to come up and that's going to give us that uh, the gated chop and... Uh, a little delay and some panning. But we can turn that off and we can listen to this vocal. Super clean. I mean, heavy Aussie, you just, you guys uh, blow me away with some of your stuff. Anyway, uh, so, and now with the movement on there. give it that chop. I, it's kind of what I want. I like a little bit of movement with uh, things like this. Anyway, moving on past the contact and vocalize and vocalese or however you want to say that. I've got the MS-20 here making its debut for the first time in this track right now, but we will see this thing again later. Um, you know, it's an MS-20. Um, very cool instrument here. And this is going to be our bass line. I wanted a nice, smooth, clean bass line. And the MS-20 just uh, executes that very, very well for me without having to do a lot of other things to it. It's just a MS-20 on this here by itself. Um. Oh, that's the bass. Uh, that's the bass kick there. Very clean bass. 
and you guys already kind of heard the kick. I kind of wanted to do something. I wanted to take it in the opposite direction, uh, normally of a No Man's Sky sound. I definitely wanted something a little more upbeat. 76 BPMs is not very upbeat, but this is more going to be like a chill step, chill trap down tempo remix kind of thing. Kind of modernize, uh, futurize this um, for this track here. So I'm happy with everything here, um, and we can go in and uh, go ahead and dive in and do our remix. Uh, I think I'm I'm ready to lay down a live track. So I'm gonna take you guys topside, give you a bird's eye view, and we are just gonna lay. We're gonna take everything right here and just record it live and see how it goes. All right, I'm doing a live rendition of a No Man's Sky intro sound bite uh, that I've deconstructed and made my own. So. Here we go. You know, No Man's Sky can be kind of, uh, I guess, a bit mysterious, a bit weird at times, right? Um, but like, and, and also sometimes a little bit lonely, right? Because it's it's sci-fi, and I kind of love that side of it. something that, you know, it's a kind of game that myself and, and a lot of other people always wanted to play in the multiplayer world, and I'm just really excited to be able to do doing right now and there's 